Good morning. I am Sanjay Kumar Singh, journalist with the Personal Finance Department of Business Standard. You would have probably heard the news that the government has has pushed forward the date for uh, the last date for filing of income tax returns from July 31 to August 31. So do make the most of this reprieve and uh, do not leave it once again for the last moment. But before you file your returns, you need to keep in mind a few things. The first and most important thing, of course, is to select the right income tax return form. If you do not uh, file your returns in the correct form, you will get a notice from the income tax department. The department will give you 15 days time to rectify the mistake. And if you do not file your uh, do so within the stipulated time limit, you could the return could be treated as invalid so do avoid all that hassle by selecting the right form in the first instance the second important point is that you need to uh, take into account all the interest income you have earned from bank deposits and from the post office both fixed income um, both uh, fixed deposit and savings bank accounts uh, returns have to be shown in your income tax returns there are quite a few sources you can use many many banks allow you to download the interest certificate from their um, from your from the net banking account you can also check up the statement of account for the whole year the interest income usually gets credited at the on the last day of each quarter and for fixed deposit returns you can look up form 26 as another point to remember is that there are several incomes that are exempt from taxation but nonetheless you need to show them in your income tax return this could be dividend income from equities which are not taxed till 10 lakh nonetheless you need to show it then there is income from tax tax free bonds you have uh, certain certain categories of gifts which are not taxed so even though you will not have to pay a tax on them you will have to show them in your returns the point here is not just that you file tax returns to pay taxes to the government you also file your returns to create a track record of your income in future if the income tax department asks you questions about your sources of income you can show your tax returns to justify your earnings one more important point that you must remember is that there should be no discrepancy between your the income tax return that you have filed and form 26 as so a simple way to avoid this mistake is to go to the income tax department's e-filing uh, website and download your form 26 as from there and look up the details sometimes you may when you look up your form 26 as you may find that certain incomes which were deducted at source tds that was deducted is not shown in the in form 26 as in such in such cases you will have to follow up with the deductor about maybe he deducted the tax but did not deposit it then there are certain deductions which may not show up in your form 16. This usually happens because you did not submit your proof of investments to the in, to the HR department on time. But you can still avail of these deductions at the time of filing your tax return. All you need is to have proof of those investments with you in case you are asked questions later. In case there is a change of jobs, then you will have two Form 16s in a year. So do include the income from both the sources in your form. And finally, do avoid filing your tax return after the August 31 deadline. Remember that there are fines for late filing. Also, you are not allowed to carry forward losses, say loss under the head capital gains or loss under business or profession you will not be able to carry forward these losses and offset them against future income if you have uh, filed your tax return late. So keep in mind these points and happy tax filing. Thank you.